Thank you for joining us on today's video. What we have today is a collector car video. You say, well, Tone, how could you possibly know that this is a collector car video? Well, first off, it's a collector car Corvette, right? And secondly, okay, secondly, um, it has some things about it that make it different than all the other ones. Let's talk about those for a second so you know. And the reason I bring this up is because if you can own a car like this, enjoy it, and it doesn't cost you very much, that's the way to do it, man. When you buy a new car and you drive off the lot, what happens? Boom, right? punch right in it, okay? Secondly, three years, four years later, it's worth half or a third. In this case here, because the new Corvettes keep going up in price and price and price, it's dragging these collectible cars up. Not high mileage, 100,000 mile cars, but cars like this with 26,000 original miles with mostly all original parts on here. Let me tell you what I mean by that when I say original parts on there. For instance, this right here, this little piece of plastic that's still on here is what was shipped from the factory when they shipped this car out, right? This has got clear bra on the front to keep it from getting chips. It's a rare car. It is a fast car. You say, Tony's got a 5.7 liter pushrod V8. How can it be fast? Let me tell you something. This has the Grand Sport motor in it. Only 751 of these, right? With the six speed, with the six speed, not to mention these were really light cars. You have no idea how really light a Corvette is and why they're so fast. That's why they're considered today's world's best sports car for the money. And this is no different. This comes with two tops. So you get the smoke top and the color match top to give you two completely different looks. Let's take a look at the quality of the car. The fact that it's got uh, uh, these great looking rims on it. It looks modern and it has an upgraded exhaust. It sounds fabulous. Got lots of extra parts that come with it for some of the upgrades that were done. And you're getting a low mileage almost instant classic today. All right, it appears that all of this paint is all original and it is in spectacular condition. It's really amazing when you think about how somebody loved this car from a car cover to a clear bra to uh, just the detail stuff. And when we get inside, it's, it's just as nice inside. So clearly it was kept in an air conditioned and heated uh, climate control uh, garage. Probably never driven in the rain. Don't know if it was ever driven in the rain, but probably not because it was somebody's baby. That's why I get excited about these cars. Sabring silver metallic paint with the color matched wheels on it. Looks so great. The black caliper is shining through. And this is kind of cool because you can see uh, how nicely the detail is in there. And then here's the line for the clear bra. It's on the headlights too. And the great thing about clear bra is that when this gets peppered with stone chips or something like that, you peel it off. Uh, the paint's all good underneath and you put back uh, a new piece of clear bra on there and that preserves the front end without you having to do all the detail or painting and those kinds of things all the time. All right, so let's take a peek under here because if you go to a car show, you're going to want to show people this and I'll tell you why. So few of these had the most powerful engine offered this year, right? The red intake, this uh, a mass airflow sensor, a couple other things on here that give us some extra horsepower, right? This has an upgraded cold air intake. I believe the stock one comes in the box. Don't hold me to that, but we got an extra box and I can't remember everything about every car we have. So uh, I'm sorry for that, but I think that it came with the stock one as well, but you're not really gonna want it because this gives you some extra breathing power and you pick up some extra horsepower. But what I wanted to get at is how beautiful it is under here. All the original decals are still in place right here. And these are the things that you should be looking for when you're buying a collector car. You can say, well, what does that even matter? Well, the point of the matter is that this is a preserved car. You could go to, to a judging event for judged cars that are preserved cars, cars that are not restored. Let's say 20 years from now, right? These are bringing huge money and this car is still preserved with all the original parts and things like that on it that look great. In this case here, we have uh, like virtually brand new tires. Look how much meat is on those things there. And look how much tire is in there. Wow, it's a lot of tire in there. And that's why these handled so well and they were so fast. All right, we're getting ready to get into the most expensive Corvette Coupe sold in 96, right? Uh, as we move into these collector editions and the Grand Sports and things like that. In this case here for the collector edition cars, uh, this was the most expensive because it had all of the options in it. It has the sports seats in it. Wait till you see the adjustments available uh, for that. The original rubber mats are still in here, okay? And when you get into one of these things, believe it or not, they're very comfortable. There's a huge amount of space back there. Remember, this comes with two tops, so you can take one with you, right? Leave one at home, depends on whether you want the painted or the tinted. All kinds of luggage fits back there, right? And then this is nice, because you get all of this, and check out this array of gauges. We're talking about 200 mile an hour speedometers, right? Full gauges in there. All of this here, the upgraded uh, Bose uh, Gold Series sound system, right? We're talking 1996 here. I mean, this is uh, pretty ahead of its time. The six speed, way ahead of its time as well. Uh, just, just a fabulous, fabulous piece of technology. 
Um, and, and I don't want to say that it's bulletproof, but it's so difficult to break this drivetrain. People talk about them for years and years because it's tried and true. It still to this day has push rods in it. And push rods, for some reason, uh, they've been able to make a lot of power. Forget all the power and the great sound and the great looks and whatever, but when you're inside here, it's comfortable, man. You can go for a long beach trip. You can go away for the weekend. You can go up to the mountains or whatever. This is the car you want to take to go do those things uh, and enjoy some sports car and some luxury. All right, so this uh, hatch may not seem like a big deal to you, but keep in mind the C1 didn't have a hatch that opened. The C2 didn't have a hatch that opened. The C3 did, but only for one year in 82. And then these cars here came out and they became functional. They were still sports cars that still worked for everybody. Look at this, it's got storage in here, right? You can store the top in this bag right here or take that out, but look how much room is back here. Tons of luggage space, tons of a cooler, go away to the beach, uh, have a great weekend. The sound system was so good. I owned one of these cars back in the day as well, and it was just amazing, amazing. First off, how fast it is. Uh, you don't realize really how fast they are, and the fact is I could take it and go for hours and hours on a drive. It was just awesome. All right, so we're closing up a collector car video. You say, well, you keep calling it a collector. How do you know? Well, first off, it is a collector's edition, right? We talked about that. But secondly, when you're talking about low production figures, original, well-kept, right? These cars are the cars that are going to be the blue chip investments that continue to go up in value year after year. Low mileage and original, they're only that way once. You can restore a car and that's great, but these always low mileage original cars will always bring more money than a restored car, and that's exactly what we have here. Anyway, call us, 301. 816-1000 will tell you all about this collector edition Corvette. Don't forget to uh, share the video if you will mind. And if you'd like it, that would be great. It spreads the news a little bit. And if you have a Corvette story, I would love, love to hear that. And uh, uh, tell me a little something about it. Maybe you own one. Maybe you rode one. Maybe you uh, went to the factory, right? Uh, all those great things that go there. And don't forget, we had a test drive video coming as well. And I think you're really going to like it.